Welcome to Blue Hawk Gossip's 13 Days of Halloween. I am Count Cordova. It will be my pleasure to serve you. Welcome to Day 13 in the finale of our little story when Al, Walt, and Charlie finally found their way back to me. Greetings. Did you find your music? Eventually. I can't believe you had so much in your basement. I did say it was a very large basement. And why did you tell us about the elevator? You didn't ask about it. You asked for access to the basement and the stairs were nearby. That's not all that important now. We ran into Edward in the basement. I assume he works for you? Yes, Edward's the maid. The maid? Yes, I'm an equal opportunity employer. He also said something about putting a torture chamber in the basement. Ignore it. I've already told him we cannot put another torture chamber in the basement. We already have three. Three? Why do you even have one? We have some guests whose fantasy it is to be scared. But don't worry. Nobody has died. Yet. From the looks of things, you have a lot of guests who like to be scared. I opened the door and ran into wolves. And I walked into a haunted house. You must have been in the horror wing. Horror wing? You mean you have hallways full of that stuff down there? Of course. That's where we store the guests' fantasies. But they're not all so frightening. You just had the luck of entering that wing. I wouldn't exactly say it was lucky. Well, that's all over with now. We've taken enough of your time. Won't you stay for sandwiches? Edward cuts the crusts off. Well, if the crusts are cut off, I suppose we could stay for a bit. Splendid. I'll go tell Edward. It's always nice to have people for lunch. And there you have it. Beware of the basement. That brings us to the end of our story and to the end of our 13 days of Halloween. For the last episode, I've got a special treat. It's my monster mashup of an instrumental called Phantom Beach Party by Get Three Coffins Ready and a poem by PJ McNamara called Monster Beach Surf Party. That about does it for these specials, although there's still more episodes to come including a Christmas calendar with a show a day from December 1st until Christmas. And you may also be able to find me at the Blue Hot Gossip Comedy Show found at bluehotgossip.blogspot.com. And before I go, I should mention that the music used for the title theme was an excerpt from Ghost Town by Adventures of Leonid. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation and hope you have a happy Halloween. Thank you for listening. I went to the beach on Halloween night and saw something there to give me a fright. A sight all with fear regardless how hardy the monsters were having a beach surf party. The vampires were having a very good time, catching the waves with rhythm and rhyme. They had an advantage over most of the kids. Their boards were made from old coffin lids. Frankenstein's monster was having some trouble. He fell off in the board and began to blow bubbles. But it came out all right when he floated ashore. He was not quite as green as he had been before. Mummies remained back on the beach, keeping the water away at arm's reach. I was very impressed with what they did. They built themselves a sound of pyramid.
story and title music were written and performed by PJ McNamara. Happy Halloween! Halloween.